Well, I'm Daniel, and welcome to the Imuna Project. We here at the Imuna Project are continuing in our series of videos with respect to inspiration, education, guidance, uh, advice, and I'm reminded of the story of the Chazanish, who was once called out of town to make a rendering, a ruling with respect to the kashrus, the kosherness, for lack of a better word, of an ox that was slaughtered. Apparently they had found some sort of adhesion on the lung and they weren't sure, is it, is it kosher, is it not kosher? And so they called him the Chazanish. Um, he walked uh, to this town going uh, through a shortcut through a, a dense forest. He gets there, he uh, makes his uh, ruling, renders his decision, and he's prepared to leave home. The butcher who um, uh, who was the owner of the uh, uh, of the ox in question offered to hire um, a, a wagon, a driver, to take him home. The Chazanish refused. The butcher insisted, "No, please uh, accept the ride." The Chazanish uh, declined, despite the butcher's uh, continued insistence. The Chazanish said. Do not think that my refusal stems from righteousness uh, or pretentiousness. Rather, it is in keeping with the tradition set before us by our ancestors. Uh, and he explained, uh, we find that Shmuel and Abi, Samuel the prophet, declares, whose ox have I taken? Or, um, or whose donkey have I taken? Now, uh, could anyone think for a moment that the, the great prophet Samuel would steal somebody's uh, property or take uh, communal property without uh, permission? Samuel the prophet was indicating that he never made use of anyone's property, even communal property, even when it was apparently permissible. Um, we learn from this that when a rabbi, a rav, um, a religious leader, a spiritual leader uh, accepts a token of appreciation or uses you know, the company car or whatever, he compromises himself as an individual and in his role as a leadership. He seems uh, less impartial. So one has to be, when, when, it, when one is in a position of leadership, one has to be very, very careful to be uh, above suspicion, uh, above um, any kind of uh, thoughts at all. Oh, well, you know, he got this for that, he got that for making a decision one way. One has to be very, very scrupulous. Uh, we're going to be doing more videos along these lines. Please come back, please watch, please learn. And until next time, on behalf of the Mono Project, I'm Daniel, and thank you so much.